Hey guys, I'm P-Freak and welcome to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Now, some of you may be wondering, hey, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl are out. Why are you not doing that? Well, I was initially going to actually go through them blindly as a Let's Play, but then I decided I'm just going to play them personally, just by myself for a bit, and I decided that I would not have fun uh, doing this because honestly, it's a remake of Diamond and Pearl, not Platinum. And I grew up with Platinum, so I was just incredibly disappointed. Then a friend suggested to me, hey, why not try out this uh, hack here? So that's what we're going to do. This is basically a remake of Pokemon Platinum, quote unquote. Basically, it's a uh, it's a ROM hack. But he told me that it was kind of like a more updated version of Platinum, which is what I wanted from the remix, to be honest. So with that all said and done, let's get in. Welcome to the Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Welcome to Pokemon Renegade Platinum, wow. This is an enhancement hack of Pokemon Platinum version by Dre Yano. Okay. You can expect to see many changes to wild Pokemon trainers and more. There's documentation provided with the hack for all changes. If you happen to need a link to it, check the PC in the player's room. But most importantly, have fun. It's almost a new adventure. And we get to see the actual Pokemon professor. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? Need advice? I'm certainly capable of giving it. No. This is... Sorry about that. This is actually our... Fourth adventure. Technically, right? Fourth of... Yeah, fourth Pokemon... No, fifth Pokemon adventure. We also did Sword and Shield as a first Let's Play. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. And if you don't press it, if you just press the E button instead... No, no, not that button. The button on the Pokeball. Fine. This is basically an introduction to the touch screen mechanics of the DS. And now comes an Eevee. Normally, it would be a Munchlax if this was normal. Or not, no, it was Munchlax in Diamond and Pearl. It was a Baneri in Platinum. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, gender, binary aside, I am a dude. Alright, so you're a boy? Yes, I am. Please tell me, what is your name? My name, as we all know since the end of the beginning of every intro, is P-Freak. Your name is P-Freak? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're P-Freak. A fine name that is. Thank you, I chose it myself. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What may his name be? Well, he could be literally any name we really want to give him, but he is canonically Barry in the anime. He is canonically... I believe he's... Is, I believe he's Pearl in the uh, Pokemon Adventures manga, which is weird because usually it's the uh, male and female protagonist who is Diamond and Pearl, but Dawn actually is Platinum. The female protagonist is actually Platinum in the Adventures. So it's weird, but whatever. Barry, is, it, is that your friend's name? Yes, it is. All right, P-Freak, the time's come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. No, don't make us chibi. This is the reason why everyone hated the remakes. Or it's one of the reasons why I don't like the remakes, personally. If you like the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, that's fine. Welcome to our brightest side, as always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Ah, oh, neat. The Kanto region, because we all know about the Kanto region, because it's literally all the Game Freak shoves down our throats. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next time, next week, same time, same channel. Yeah, I love the Twinleaf Town music. So, again, I'm going to just say, I don't... If you like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, that's fine. I personally am not too happy with what's going on right now because it's a remake of Diamond and Pearl, not Platinum, and I grew up with Platinum. So, naturally. Um, I should also mention that there is actually a patch for this ROM that actually makes things go ridiculously fast. I may apply it later on, but I just wanted to have the normal game right here because it actually desyncs the video and the audio of the intro, so... Uh, we're gonna keep the battle scene on. Battle scene actually, as it says right there, choose between seeing or not seeing Pokemon battle animations. Sound, choose between the game sound mode, stereo mono. I always keep it stereo. It's the, it's the 21st century, old man. Battle style, choose between battle rules on replacing a fallen Pokemon. Basically, it's the shift to set to shift style. At the end of every, whenever you knock out a Pokemon, it'll ask you if you want to switch your Pokemon for the next upcoming Pokemon. If you set to set mode, then it'll be like a normal battle where... Uh, you don't. You have to actually spend a turn to switch out your Pokemon. I always switch it to set mode, just so we have a bit more 
Wow, sorry. Just so we have a bit more difficulty. And button mode. Choose one of three sets of button settings. Now this actually is not too bad having L equal A because L is kind of useless otherwise, but we're going to keep it to normal setting right now. And the frame. We get to choose whatever frame we want our text box to be. Uh, I have quite a nice bit of selection. It's actually... I really remember liking this one, so let's go with this one. Alright. And with that all said and done, if we continue forward... Oh, look who's here. There you are. Hey, Peefrey, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Mr. Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Uh... Hey, dude, get off that computer. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right, we're going to see Professor Rowan get some Pokemon. Oh, wait, not time. Okay, P Freak, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to get over there as slow as I can. Look at how freaking slow the walking speed is. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about it for too long. At least in this ROM hack. Because. P Freak, they already left. You're going after them, right? Then take your running shoes. You need to leave in a hurry. And we already get the running shoes. You actually would not have gotten the rocket shoes until quite a bit later. You should take your bike with you as well, dear. And we also get the bicycle. Again, another item we would have not gotten till much later, actually. Okay, off you go, sweetie. So this is basically to counteract how slow the movement is in the game, because honestly, the problem with Generation 4 is that it's really slow. With it new, being new hardware and all that, onto the, from the Game Boy to the DS, things were just super, super slow. If you ever saw a video of how the original Diamond and Pearl's surfing speed was compared to Platinum surfing speed, you'd see what I'm talking about. It's an Eevee. Mom is taking care of it. Thank God the slow speed, though, was on a region that's not quite as heavily filled with water. We don't have a town map, so we can't show how what this region looks like so far, but it doesn't have as much water as freaking Hoenn. Anyways, weird little Eevee there. And also, I like this that they added. They added snow falling into there. And as the aesthetic. That's nice. Uh, rude. What's that about? Oh, hey, Pete Freak. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowe. You should come, too. And quickly. Uh... Forget something? Oh jeez, forgot something. Oh, hey, what do you know? I played this game so many times I know what's gonna happen. But hey, look who it is. Hi, P-Freak. You're here to play with my son, Barry, right? Great, enjoy it yourselves. Don't get in too much trouble. We actually would not have seen Palmer until much, 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 much later in the original. Okay, I'll stop making the references as to Okay, I've only played the beginning. I've only played all the way up to the first rival fight of this uh, hack. For the most part, I'm going in this blind. I do know what some of the stuff entails. But I did basically, this is basically a blind playthrough. Better take my bag and my journal too. Say bye to daddy before he leaves. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, Peefree, I'm waiting on the road. It's 10 million Poké Dollar fine if you're late. You already said that last time. Hell, you're the one that's gonna be late because I could have actually been there before you were. And he's gone. Okay. Weird that Palmer literally just disappears out of nowhere. Hey buddy, what's up? Too slow. Dude, I was literally just behind you like five seconds. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go to the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, now a lot of Pokemon jump out of you when you go into tall grass. So what do you do? Scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. Uh, if I had the control over that, then trust me, I would. But we didn't get control over that till Generation 8, so... We just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Jump Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Or maybe you could ask your mom to get you some repels, just saying. Hold it! Hold it! Dun, 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 dun. I, I completely forget what the. Uh, dun, dun. Whatever, Phoenix, right? You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going to the tall grass? Hey, P Freak, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Try to go into the tall grass because of one Pokemon. <sighs> what to do? The world would surely be changed if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on this path? You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Uh, well, I used to. I guess I still do, just not as much as I used to. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I'll ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? What? You can ask a hundred times, and the answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, P-Freak? Uh, I guess? A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter Talgrass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me that people like that would do with Pokemon. Okay, Boomer. Jesus. Uh, well, I, um... Well, forget about me, but give Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into Talgrass and all. How big of you. Very well, then. I will entrust you to this Pokemon. I apologize for you through this, that exercise. However, 
You must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Ah, uh, no promises, sorry. Now then. Now where? Oh, hello. Professor Owen, you left your briefcase at the lake. I'm kidding, for the love of God. Now don't get me wrong, of course I crushed, I maybe had a small crush on Dawn when I first saw her in the anime when I first played this game, but not really. She's just another whiny female protagonist in the Pokemon uh, anime. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice one. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Now granted, she's not as bad as Iris, but still. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. It comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place, right here. Uh, okay. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Ruin? Can't believe it, I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. I never have a straight face, buddy, don't worry. Hey, P3, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Wow, what an asshole. So, we have three choices here as a starters. Look, these are Pokeballs. There are Pokemon in each one. Let's choose. Which Pokemon will it be? We have an option between Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon, and the grass starter, Chimchar, the chimp Pokemon, and the fire starter, and Piplup, the penguin Pokemon, and the water starter. Now, the best starter, objectively, sadly, is Chimchar, because Chimchar is able to deal with most of the battles throughout the entire game, and it's just pretty damn powerful. It has both even physical attack and special attack. Uh, if you don't know what stats are, basically every Pokemon has six stats. Uh, they have their health points, which are how, how much damage they can take before they faint, their physical attack, which uh, how much damage their physical moves will do, physical defense, which is how much resistance to those physical moves they have, special attack and special defense, which are the same but special for special attacks, and then speed determines how, uh, whether they'll move first in a battle or not. Chimchar is objectively the best because it has really high both physical attack and special attack. It's a mixed attacker, um, and also it has really high speed. So, but let's be honest here. Are, do you really think I'm going to pass up playing with our champion mascot here? I mean, our champion mascot. <laughs> our channel mascot here? You kidding me, right? Of course I'm going to go with Turtwig. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Chimchar. Very well. Both of you have chosen good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you will do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me in my lab at Sandship Town. Now, we'll be on our way. Uh, later, weirdo. Also, for those of you Piplup fans, don't worry, I did not completely forget about Piplup. Let's just say that Piplup is... Piplup exists. Don't get me wrong, it, when it gets fully evolved, it gets a really unique type combination, but it's not really that as important as the other two are to me. For Sarah, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. Uh, later. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems stern and scary. What do you mean? He seems stern and scary in real life. <laughs> P-Freak, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Uh, sure, why not? I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. P-Freak, I challenge you to a battle. And we get into our first rival battle. Uh, in Diamond and Pearl, this actually would have been you fighting a Starly for the first time instead of fighting a, a rival battle. I'm so glad they changed that. He has a Chimchar, the one I said that was the best. We have our little Turtwig. I love Turtwig. Turtwig is, for those of you who don't know, my favorite Pokemon of all time. He is based... Okay, when I said channel mascot, uh, my fursona is actually my channel mascot. But Turtwig is basically, well, my favorite Pokemon, and you'll see a lot of Turtwig icon iconography around my channel. I believe I still have Turtwig as my icon, at least by the time that I release this video. I don't know if I'll change it in the future. Anyways, simple rival battle. All you really need to do is just keep using your attacking moves, and I'm a little concerned with how little this tackle is actually doing. Don't get me wrong, tackle's a weak move. It's supposed to not do not a lot of damage, especially in this early fight. But... Turtwig, so, one little thing in this Pokemon game is that each Pokemon will have a different thing called Nature. So nature is basically, they can do one of two things. They can either do absolutely freaking nothing, or they can increase a stat by 10% while also lowering a stat by 10% at the same time. Oh, thank- oh, okay, no, they, I thought they changed it to where the uh, beeping would not constantly go on forever. They didn't. They did change a lot of quality of life things in this uh, hack. Sometimes I gotta remember that I'm actually playing the hack here. And Turtwig grows to level 6. Let's see. Ooh, I don't like that it's plus two special attack there. That's, yeah, that's concerning. What are you saying? We ended up losing? Yeah, you did. Sorry about that, bud. Whew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs a rest, too. See you, P-Freak. 
Anyways, what I was saying is that there's nature's that'll raise a step at 10%, but lower a step at 10%. I have a feeling our Twitch has a physical attack lowering nature, which sucks because it is a physical attacker. And if that's the case, if it's especially bad, then I am going to actually reset to go get a better turret twig. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you. You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. If you didn't, I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Be free, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandship Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the telegraph won't be so threatening. Alright, and this would normally be the time where she gives us the running shoes, but she already gave us the running shoes. Alright, turret twig, let's see what you got. Bold. Yep, I was afraid of that. Funny thing about Bold, actually, uh, in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky, Bold is actually the personality you want in order to actually play Turtwig in those games, so... Oof, that's really unfortunate. Uh, give me a second. Alright, survey says... Yes, perfect. A Turtwig with a lonely nature. I will take that, actually. It's not the perfect one. If I wanted perfect, I would have gone for adamant nature, but you know what? That's totally fine. I was more worried about just having an attack buffing nature instead of having an attack alluring one. Anyways. Too slow, P Freak? I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can think properly. So, I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you, together, we got nothing to fear. On the road to uh, the lake that we used to play as children. Uh, you know what? I actually want to test something. You know, you aren't able to normally test this because you don't normally get the bicycles this early. Uh, you can't use that when you have someone with you. Okay, that makes that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, I just was curious. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. Dude, have you ever tried to catch a legendary Pokemon? They're not exactly easy to catch. What's going on? Who the hell is this? The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon to the lake bed. Jesus, we got some, like, edgy emo hipster. Dude, it's 2021. Emos aren't a thing anymore. Let me pass. Step aside. I'm kidding. They probably are still a thing, and I'm just not aware. What was that about, weird guy? Okay, P-Freak, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. And it just turns on a clock, so now it's suddenly very, very dark. Awesome. Did you hear that, P-Freak? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E-Balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? Probably. You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we need anything. Okay, P-Freak, I'll race you. First one to go to the Professor's lab in Sandship Town rules. Watch, he's probably going to completely forget about uh, getting the legendary Pokemon by the time he actually gets Pokeballs. Anyway, uh, real quickly though, since we have access to it, I'm going to do what's called registering, where you can actually register something, and then instead of having to go to the menu to activate it all the time, you can just hit the Y button and you can basically automatically have it. Also, bikes normally have two different modes. We have a fast mode and a slow mode. Uh, slow mode gives you more control, fast mode is, you know, faster. You actually do need the fast mode to get to certain locations, though. Another thing about the bike, both the bike and running will actually increase your chance of running to wild Pokemon while you run through the grass here. If you want to avoid Pokemon, typically you want to just walk through like normal, like just normal walking. Another thing, this game has... I wouldn't, I don't know if it's dramatically, but they have increased the numbers, the levels of a lot of the Pokemon you'd find here. Normally, the Pokemon you'd find here are like level two or three. You just saw we had a Bidoof there, which is one of the best Pokemon, don't at me. And it was freaking level four. So yeah, this game is meant to improve a lot of quality of life things, but also meant to make um, the experience a whole lot harder, which to be honest, I'm totally fine with that. I'll be honest here. But there's also a nice little other quirk that I know of that we'll get to probably later. For now, I'm trying to run away from the Starly. Uh, you being able to run away actually is based on another thing that the speed is based on. Basically, the faster the Pokemon is, the easier it is to run away. But the thing is that Turtwig is, well, a turtle, so it's kind of slow. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Did you know that Pokemon's health is measured by its hit points, its HP? If Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. Pokemon's HP is low, you should heal with potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a free sample. 
and they give us some potions. Now, I believe in the original game it was actually a single potion, but here and in the remakes, yes, it is ten potions, which is really nice, actually. And we immediately get into another battle. Is it another Starly? No! Okay, I didn't know that this was here, but this goes into a thing I was actually didn't think we could get to in a while. You actually have access to all 493 Pokemon available up to this point um, in the entire region. You, like, there's no version of exclusives or anything. Yet. At least that's what the forum post said. So right here we have a Nidoran. You normally cannot find Nidorans in the wild, at least not in Route 1. So that's interesting. And Nidoran, I've actually used a Nidoran before back over in po our Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. So that's neat. However, I don't plan on using Nidoran here because, well... I've already used a Nidoking before, so I don't really need another one. Also, another thing I should mention, as you probably saw, Turtwig has the move Absorb. Turtwigs do not normally get Absorb at this level, so a lot of the move sets are also updated. I believe to they're updated to what their move sets are in Generation 7. So it's not fully updated, it's maybe a year out of, or like a generation out of date, but honestly, it's totally fine. I will take it. It's probably going to be a much better experience than Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is going to be. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Wow. Rude. Barry, can you ever slow down? What the? Oh, it's you, P Freak. Oh, God. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Uh, it doesn't matter, P Freak. I'm out of here. See you later. Bye. Weirdo. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems like he's really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Yeah, whatever you say, Don. Whatever you say. I'm sorry, I just need you guys to listen to that. This is one of the one of my favorite songs in the entire game. And this is the only location it ever plays. Like the only time. Eventually the song's gonna be replaced in just a few short moments. Well, well, look who's here. P freak was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. He will actually say something different if you actually evolve your starter. Even in the original game, if you evolve your starter before you even see him, he will actually say something different. And yes, I learned that by actually hacking the game. I was a very cheat-friendly, cheat-heavy kid back then. Trusting with that Turtwig was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, and I know exactly why I want to name this, because this is why I basically name every Turtwig I ever get. <laughs> Cause it's going to be my little Twiggy. Ah, I love Turtwig so much. I really love how Turtwig actually looks in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I'll give them that. They actually made Turtwig's 3D model really good. Yes, I'm happy with that. When I first saw you two about to step in the tall grass with that Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. Okay, Boomer, Jesus. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turtwig feels the same way about you. That's why I asked you to cherish that Turtwig of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind of towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I can't say it. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, Don. Mm hmm. Let's move on to the main topic. See, you'll never be able to hear that song again, sadly. There's something I want you to do for me. At least in game. You can always listen to it on YouTube. Let me properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I say Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the center region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want you to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all data on the Pokemon in the Sinnoh for me? I mean, yeah, but I'm technically played an alternate dimension of the Sinnoh, so it's not going to be entirely accurate to what it really should be, but whatever. Good answer. And we get the Pokedex. Pokedex is basically our encyclopedia, or at least our way to track down which Pokemon we have caught and which ones we have not. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically report data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. This also includes the national mode for any Pokemon that are not native to Sinnoh. Ah, so you're aware of the alternate dimension we're in. Awesome. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! P Freak, your grand adventure begins right now! Pokemon I am at for the first time was Piplup. If you have chosen Piplup over 201, we'd have the same Pokemon. No. No, we would not, actually. You would have... Let's see, if I chose Piplup... You'd have Chimchar, which is actually fitting of your Pokemon Adventures counterpart, if I remember correctly. Okay. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. 
I mean, I'd be teach you things. Glad to meet you, P-Freak. Oh, don't worry. I know my way around here. This is my first rodeo. Anyways, with that all said and done, he said our grand adventure is about to start. Eh, well, I guess this is a good start, isn't it? But that's going to be it for now. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media links. All that will be in the description. Next time, we're going to actually start our adventure in Pokemon Renegade Platinum. I will see you guys then.